Hello everyone, Gomrath here with Gomrath Games, and today I'm going to be giving you a guide on all the best pets from Raiding with Leeches 1. As you can see, right now I'm in Encourage, which was the first raid in World of Warcraft. Or was it? Actually, it wasn't. It was Molten Core. But there are three fantastic pets in here. Well, really, one fantastic pet and two pets that are meh. So, so. So, this guy right here, the Anubis Sath Idol. He is like the tier one pet of tier one pets. If you could take a poster boy for PVE pet battles, it would probably be this guy right here. He drops from the Twin Emperors, which are the second to last boss in here, and he is fantastic. Normally, the build that I run on him is Crush Sandstorm Deflection, and he's not even a double counter to critter type pets, but since he has Sandstorm, it negates all damage uh, by 74, so that means if it doesn't hit for 74 damage, that it just doesn't hit. And critter type attacks are already weak versus humanoids, so this guy, he's almost a better double counter to critter pets than some others, like the Flare Youngling or the Kunlai Runt. But I would definitely re recommend picking him up. Now the other two pets in here, they're kind of so-so. Uh, there's nothing particularly special about either of them. Like, the Vestial Glob here, he's got, I think, almost the exact same moveset as all the other pets, uh, that kind of look like him, like the Jade Oozling. So, if it's an Ooze-type pet, it's got a pretty similar moveset to this. So, also, it's a pain in the butt to get him, because you have to beat this guy right here. No, but it's Shift-J, sorry. Um... Viscidus, and you need to have frost damage so you need to kill him as a frost dk that's the easiest way to kill him other than that he's just a pain in the buttocks so those are the three pets from aq40 i would definitely recommend farming for the anubis sath idol it sells for like 10 or 15 thousand gold on the auction house depending on the server that you're on but you could get him like i got one for my brother i was just farming for him and it took me like four or five runs and who's yelling that's weird okay yeah, it took me like four or five runs to get him but if you've got any pets i mean excuse me any tunes that are above level 70 running it's really really easy so that'll do it for aq40 all right guys we've made our way over into molten core and as you can see we've got some gorgeous molten giants behind it it's a miracle that blizzard just lets them stand there naked um and I'm going to be talking about the pets that are found down here in Molten Core. So there are really four pets. Well, actually just three pets that are found from Molten Core. There's the Molten Corgi, but I think that came from a... Yeah, that's the 10th anniversary. Uh, we have the Harbinger of Flame, the Ashstone Core, and the Core Fire Imp. These are the three pets that drop in here. And to be honest, they're kind of lackluster. Like, nothing really fantastic. You know, I've seen some gimmicky teams that they run instability. Um, another 50% hit chance teams. High Roost done a couple of videos on them. But really overall, here in Molten Core, the only pet that's decent that I would say, you know, level this guy up and have him for uh, particular fights is the Harbinger of Flame. He only comes in the Power Power Breed, and he's got a really strong hitting immolation conflagrate combo. Uh... You know, I think he's probably the second strongest pet that has that compared to just little Ragnaros. He's the number one. And, you know, you got the Hate Spark, the Tiny. He came from the Molten Core Anniversary event. And I was really lucky to snag one of these. So, really, out of Molten Core, the only pet to really make an impact on your collection would be this guy right here, the Harbinger of Flame. The other ones are decent, but nothing really fantastic and even the harbinger of flame is not all that great all right we've made our way over to nax ramus and there are three pets here so as you see there's kind of a trend where there we have three pets from each raid and the three pets that are in nax are all undead pets now the first one i want to talk about is a giant bone spider okay he is a really cool pet that has a bunch of undead moves but one thing that's cool about him is he's got Death Grip. 
Now he's a really easy to get pet that has death grip. And there's not a lot of pets that do have death grip. Let's see, death grip. Okay, so the Wee Abomination has death grip as well as the Crawling Claw and the Creepy Crate. And I don't have either of these. Now I think this one comes from Archaeology and this one comes from Hollow's End, but I have yet to snag it. I need to do that. I got into pet battles just as Hollow's End was ending last year, and so there's a lot of pets I don't have. But this guy can be used in a variety of cool teams. Uh, like I've seen teams that they'll have one pet that switches out other pets, and they'll have traps down so that when you switch into the other pet, it does damage. And I've gone up against a couple teams like that that are really annoying. And he's feature he was featured in one of them, and it was the first time I realized that he had death grip. So, anyway, it's a cool little ability. Uh, one that I just he's a pet that I'd, I'd recommend picking up. Now the uh, fungal abomination, he's nothing special. Like his moves here do not hit hard. So yes, he's tanky. Yes, he's got a decent amount of speed, but he really isn't great. Like, you're never, ever going to see him in PvP, and undeads are actually pretty terrible when it comes to Pv PvE, so, yeah, that's enough of him. And then this guy here, um, old Iron Jaw, or the Stitch Pup, he has a relatively decent move in the set. He's got Disease Bite, which can hit up to almost 400 damage. You could, you know, pair that with Cowl. Uh, and disease bite to get a really really hard hitting disease bite he also has consume corpse which will make him last for a really long time if you use him as the last pet but still not a guy who i've ever used in any pvp teams uh but out of these three pets definitely pick yourself up a giant bone spider and other than that uh the other guys yeah all right, we are in the very last portion of Raiding with Leashes 1, and we are in Blackwing Lair. Now, Blackwing Lair is another area that contains one of the powerhouse pets of the game. Now, this is Chrominius, okay? And Chrominius here drops off of, like, Chromagnus, and he is a beast. Well, he's not really a beast. He's a dragon type, but he's really, really powerful, okay? And I'll tell you why. So, if you're doing the Tiny Terrors of Tanan, this is a must-have on your team, okay? Because some of the fights, like, he can just neutralize a boss, uh, the flying boss with Howl and Surge of Power. You know, sometimes, you know, just have him to outlast the back or the pets in the back line and use Ancient Blessing. A three-round cooldown to have a heal, or heal that gives you 414 health and then increases your maximum health um, for nine rounds is awesome. Really, this is one of the best pets in the game. He's he's a little bit cheaper on the auction house um, than the Anubis Sath Idol, but it's somebody really easy to farm for. Uh, this beginning boss here, uh, Razgor, the Untamed, he's kind of a pain in the butt to solo, but very, very doable. I've done it many times. So he's the number one pick out of... Raiding with Leashes 1, I would definitely say snag yourself a Chrominius, snag yourself an Anubis Sath Idol, and then grab a Harbinger of Flame. And you can pick up the Harbinger of Flame for like, I don't know, a couple hundred gold on the auction house. Now there's two other pets in here, um, which are okay. One thing that's cool about this Death Talon Whelp Guard is he's got humanoid moves. So he is a dragon type with moves that are strong versus dragons. So in a couple fights, he can be really useful. Um, especially with the fam family familiar achievement out in the Broken Isles. You know, you got to beat teams with particular, like, all of one family. So having pets of a particular family that have moves f pulling from other pet families is really awesome. So just to recap from Raiding with Leashes, one, your go-to pets are Crominius, the Anubis Sath Idol, and then in the last slot what did i say it was pardon this brain fart oh harbinger of flame but that'll do it for rating with leashes if you found this video helpful a like rating is always appreciated and make sure to subscribe for more wow content and let me know if there was anything uh any pets that you feel like i undervalued in the comment sections thank you so much you take care